Netflix with the hits Where we tell you about the movies We tell you that they're great Or if they really stink Now it's time to start the show Yeah, now it's time to go Guess what? It's Flicks with the Hicks Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Flicks with the Hicks Where each week, myself and my beautiful wife, Janet Review two movies that we watched on DVD we always remove, review the best movie and the worst movie that we've watched that week. This week I got tasked with picking the worst movie. <laughs> My choice was Back by Midnight. Mm-hmm. And it stars Rodney Dangerfield, Kirstie Alley, Randy Quaid, uh, Paul, what's, uh, Paul Rod- Rodriguez, Rodriguez, yeah, and uh, the whole collection of comedians yeah it is a comedy it's rated r for i would say vulgar um at times comedy and Mm -hmm. a few sexual situations yeah and (laughs) it was a bad movie yeah it really was um rodney dangerfield plays a warden of a prison who he decides to turn the prison into a country club because the owner of the prison played by randy quaid refuses to put money into the prison to improve the facility and rodney's idea for turning this into a country club without any money was to steal sofas furniture workout equipment from department stores that are owned by the owner of the prison that yeah the owner of the prisons named Eli. He had the department stores and the prisons, right? And he was running the prison on like ten dollars a day per prisoner, and that's why nothing was getting fixed. He's trying to get investors, mm-hmm. uh, and he said, "Well, that's why nothing was getting fixed in the prisons." Yeah, but overall, the film was practically unwatchable some of the um, comedy in it was very vulgar Mm -hmm. um, and it didn't hold my attention it just didn't Um, you know there's I've seen Rodney Dangerfield at times where he's really good like in Caddyshack he was hilarious but I think where this film really suffered was they had so many comedians in the film and everybody was trying to have their their one-liner that they could put into it it was almost like letting the children take over the elementary school <laughs> and it just it didn't work out like sometimes these these types of films do but in this one it, it just, just didn't, didn't gel it just didn't yeah well, Kirstie so. Alley was playing like a ritzy bitchy foreigner that mm-hmm. and it just didn't work you guys even Rodney you know he looked bad you know he's doing the same spill at you know the way he acts and all that but it wasn't very good and there's there so many places in it where they used ideas from other movies. Like with in Caddyshack, they had the gopher. Well, in this movie, they had the monkey. Yeah, and yeah stuff like it that. Just, mm-hmm. Yeah, you just you practically knew what was coming next throughout the entire film. Mm-hmm. And so anyhow, I would give this film... <laughs> I would give it a whopping 35 out of 100. Yeah. I, and I think I, that's I, being a little generous. It is so crude in places. And... The whole plot is, you know, stupid. Uh, I'll give it a whopping maybe 25. I didn't like it. I'm I'm not big into Rodney Dangerfield anyway, but you know, and I don't even know why some of these people took the movie just because of him. Or I know comedians like to hang together, but it was stupid. I didn't like it. Yeah. So you get to pick the best film of the week. What did you pick? The Omen, y'all. Okay, I don't know how many times I've watched this. Do you know how many times I've watched it since I've met you? I have no idea, a but lot. I know every time it comes on TV, it's it's on. It's on. It's, on. it's yeah. on. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, made in 1976, and it grossed the most money than anybody for that, that in 1976, okay? And it was written by David Seltzer and... Um, producer was Henry Bernard but it had Gregory Peck 
which was like an American um, uh, big wig uh, ambassador, ambassador um, yeah, politician type guy. Anyway, he's a big wig, and uh, Lee Remick played his wife Kathy. So Gregory Peck, Peck did Robert Thorne. Well, the whole thing is about the the baby, man. The baby. It wasn't her baby. Her, you know, she supposedly the baby was still born. Well, actually, they just traded out the baby anyway for this other baby. Well, everything's cool except for like after like five years, some weird stuff starts happening, and this photographer gets these pictures like at a birthday party, takes pictures of of you know different things and then one of the people in the pictures dies you know and then he's he goes and follows this family around you know the paparazzi type guy right and then another picture you know shows something weird in the picture and he you know trying to develop what's wrong with my camera no it's it shows how these people are dying it's like ooh, a premonition of how yeah going yeah to die. but anyway it's a good story, y'all. It's it's scary, it's intriguing, and this photographer, you know, um, kind of helps Mr. Thorne figure all this out. The wife almost dies. I'm going, like, ooh, it's good, it's good. I got goosebumps, look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anyway, you guys, you gotta watch it. But they got number two, number three, and number four, and then in 2006, they did a remake. I haven't seen the remake. They said it's not in the air as good. But, um, you know, like, The Exorcist came out in 73. Mm -hmm. I think the next best one was this one. Yeah. I, I think. Yeah. My opinion. Yeah. You know, but... That um, came out when I was ten and a half years old. And <laughs> my, parents, <laughs> my parents didn't take me to see The Exorcist. I was too young. They wouldn't let me see that. Uh, that one? But they did take me to see The Omen. Oh, on a big screen. I bet that was good. And I think they probably regretted it because I sat there shaking, shivering, and <laughs> wanting to leave the movie the entire time. Oh, really? Yeah, it was it was uh, very scary to me at the time. But, you know, it's like it having a lot of the Catholic stuff in it, it's from Revelations. Does it, it's nothing to do, it's nothing's correct in it, really. Mm -hmm. It's all it's all fantasy stuff, and you know you got to think. Well, this isn't what is in the Bible, but it's a good story. It is. It's a good story. Guys. It's a it's a very compelling story. It kind of yeah. grabs you from the birthday party. Yeah. From the birthday party. At that point, the rest of the movie you don't want to turn away from it. Right. Right. Yeah. So it's like and then the ending. Ah, dang. That's why they got two, three, and four, though. Mm -hmm. but I'm not going to give away the story, but man, I can tell you almost every scene. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, what would you rate this one? I would give The Omen. It's mm. tough. It's tough on horror films for me mm -hmm. because there's so much fantasy involved in them. Mm -hmm. um, I would give The Omen. Um, I'd give it an 87. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'll give it a good, uh... Oh, man. Um... I, I'll give it... It's, I'll give it 99. Really? Yeah, 99. Wow. You know, because... I mean... I, I'll watch it again. Oh, I'm sure you yeah, will. Yeah, right I'm now. I'm sure you will. But, um, and, you know, you got all this, the the sadness, that you feel sorry for people, and it does, you know, a couple things do make you laugh, you know, and it could make you cry because it's sad on some places, and, but it keeps, I mean, there's not much laughter in it, but, I mean... Well, the acting it makes really you good. angry in places, mm -hmm. you know. And Gregory Peck, I think this role is probably one one of his best, you know, for sure. All the acting was good throughout the film. Yeah. Through it. Yeah. You know, it was. 
and very and, well acted. Yeah. My, yeah. my fear in watching this film this last time was I thought, well, it was made in 1976. It was a horror film. And when I think of that genre of films, I tend to think of mm -hmm. uh, uh, Vincent Price. And I, they tend to be a little campy. Mm -hmm. And this one isn't. Yeah. You, have to, you know, the first, once you get used to the fact of the, the film being shot on old film as you're watching the movie and everything's uh -huh. a little bit different, um, it's a great movie. Right. Good movie. And, and they did go all over the place to film, too. Mm -hmm. But um, I wonder what happened to the kid Damien. That's the boy. Uh, that was uh, Harry Stevens um, or Stephens or whatever. I wonder what he ended up doing later. I don't know. But, you know, you guys, you want to see a good horror flick, you know, like mystery and intrigue, that's a good one for me. She gets so excited when she finds a good film. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching, you guys. We appreciate you. And you guys watch some, some movies, man. Uh, take a chill pill. Yeah, everybody needs to nowadays. So. All right. Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.